The new City Hall in Venlo, the Netherlands, is Cradle to Cradle's global signature building. It embodies the city's ambition to enable the city and region to function according to Cradle to Cradle principles. Its design is based on people, planet and profit, while its goal is to create added value for Venlo. The central vision behind the Cradle to Cradle philosophy is that all materials can be put to good use in different products after their first life in their initial product. The difference with conventional reuse is that there is no loss of quality and that no byproducts end up in landfills. We design sustainable products and buildings based on the natural cycle and the seasons. Cherry trees are an excellent example. Thousands of blossoms provide food for birds and bees. The tree purifies the air. And when the blossoms ultimately fall to the ground, they are digested and broken down into nutrients that feed microorganisms, plants, animals, and the earth itself. In this way, cherry trees don't just finish a cycle without loss of quality. They also add extra value in the form of air purification and nectar. Venlo is regarded as the international capital of the Cradle to Cradle philosophy. The city was the first recipient of the Cradle to Cradle Front Runner Award. It is no coincidence that the Venlo City Hall has been designed entirely according to the Cradle to Cradle philosophy. The goal wasn't just to build a city hall, but rather a means to allow the city's services to function optimally, and also to give Venlo City Hall employees and visitors a comfortable place where they can be productive. We really hope that productivity will increase and absenteeism due to sick leave will fall. This is why we have used a variety of materials and techniques to be able to effectively reach those goals. The north façade consists mainly of greenery. A variety of plants creates a different look for every season. The plants convert carbon dioxide into oxygen, filter particulate matter, and absorb nitrogen oxide and ozone. In this way, the green façade purifies the air coming off the road and the railway next to the building. It also forms a natural insulation against heat, cold, and noise. The plants also humidify the building's air. The planters were designed especially for the green façade and are C2C certified. Lastly, the green façade offers city centre birds a place to rest and breed. Apart from a very special and beautiful building, the new city hall also has to be a healthy building. One example is the green facade that creates extra humidity and oxygen. This is important for being able to work in a pleasant environment. The quality of offices is often poor, dry air, lack of oxygen. Apart from aesthetically pleasing, elements like these are also very functional. This makes the building a great one, rather than one that is just less poor in quality. The inside facade is made of Holtz 100, a cradle-to-cradle -cradle certified product. This means it does not harm the environment and can be recycled without loss of quality. It also means honest production values, as the timber is replaced by new planting. The south façade is made of aluminium, making it entirely reusable without any loss of quality. The solar panels are also clearly visible and provide electricity as well as shading. The building was designed for natural ventilation, the main element of which is the solar chimney. The sun warms the chimney on the roof, which creates a natural draft in the building. On top of that, the atriums are built with optimal natural airflow in mind, reducing the need for mechanical ventilation. This actually creates a thermal, which draws out air through two atriums. The result is the air in the building being completely refreshed every two hours. Some of the concrete used for the City Hall is reused concrete. 
For maximum concrete savings, bubble deck concrete has been used throughout the building. It is much stronger and lighter and therefore needs fewer supporting elements. This has resulted in a more spacious parking garage that offers more parking convenience due to fewer pillars. We wanted not only to build a very comfortable city hall, but also a pleasant parking garage, according to the cradle-to-cradle -cradle principle. This has resulted in atriums in both the city hall and the parking garage. It's not every day that you can see the sun shining in a parking garage, or feel the wind, or even, later on in the autumn, pick mushrooms in the garage. These are all results of the cradle-to-cradle -cradle inspired parking garage. The cradle-to-cradle -cradle principles has also been applied to the interior. Furniture and desks are mostly made of C2C certified materials. Rather than end up in a landfill, these materials will get a new lease of life after use. This creates a continuous cycle of resources, thanks to furniture that can be dismantled all but completely. Take for example this beautiful chair made by Herman Miller. Because it is a cradle-to-cradle -cradle certified chair, we know what kind of materials it contains, but also that it can be completely dismantled. It was made to be taken apart, which means that if the chair should break, it is easy to reuse, but also that these materials can be used for a new chair or something else in 10 years' time. Another example is the floor covering in this building. It is made of recycled materials and also repels particulate matter. We are cooperating with the green facade, ensuring a better indoor climate. The floor covering can be reused later on as well. Energy is stored in the groundwater, either in the form of heat or cold. The so-called geothermal heating was designed with the exchange of heat and cold in mind, including future functions in this area. The building boasts 1,300 square meters of solar panels that generate an important part of the required energy. It uses concrete core conditioning the water running through the pipes in the ground takes on the temperature of the bottom basement floor. This water is pumped around the building as fast as possible, thereby cooling the building in summer and heating it up in winter. The upper floors sport a greenhouse whose greenery and water add oxygen and humidity to the air. The sun warms the greenhouse, thereby providing warmth for the entire building. The greenhouse also serves as a symbolic link to Greenport Venlo and the city's horticultural history. Health is a very important element in this building, and so we find ourselves in the lung of the building, the greenhouse at the height of almost 40 meters. Thanks to the green facade, the cork oaks, and also the water storage in this greenhouse, we are adding oxygen and humidity to the air from this very spot. The air starts its journey here as it is drawn into the building from this greenhouse. This means that the people working in this building, as well as visitors, are breathing the air that started its journey in this greenhouse, after being enriched with oxygen thanks to the greenery and the water. Rainwater is collected on the roof and transported, along with wash basin and pantry water, to a helophyte filter, a special filter situated next to the building. It is a type of reed bank that purifies water, which can then be reused for flushing toilets and to water the green facade. The filter also prevents heat stress in the patio and ensures a green environment and increased biodiversity. The building also boasts three terraces where people can work outside in a relaxed manner. Large open staircases encourage people to move more and stimulate meetings throughout the building. People really enjoy the daylight that is drawn into the building as deeply as possible. Air quality is constantly monitored, ensuring a constantly healthy environment for the City Hall's employees and visitors. The sun chimney, atriums, greenhouse and green facade all help to ensure optimal air quality for visitors and employees of the city of Venlo. Our furniture complies with the Working Conditions Act. 
It is not only healthy furniture, but also fully adjustable to people's own and personal needs. Lastly, a word on the building's acoustics. By using the right materials, we've demonstrated that even an open and flexible work concept can have very pleasant acoustics. The building's achievements are continuously and visibly monitored. This contributes to the awareness of employees and lower energy consumption. Thanks to these energy-conscious and sustainable investments, the city will achieve a positive result of 17 million euros over a period of 40 years. On top of that, the building's residual value is significant, thanks to the use of healthy and recyclable materials. The building was designed for easy dismantling as well. In short, cradle to cradle is economically beneficial.